What's up there, you guys? Your man Joe came around just to find that you need to know. So I was uh, praying for a little bit. Then I had like a quick vision. In the vision, I see like a woman in white. She was rubbing her be belly and it was about to give, it looked like she was about to give birth. Then I see like a very large dragon heading towards her. Then uh, I believe it's in the passages here in the book of Revelation. Chapter 12, um, you guys can read the whole thing for yourself, but uh, let's take a look at this. And there appear a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and in the moon, under her feet and upon her, and upon her head crowned of twelve uh, stars. She began... Uh, she's being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And, appear, and there appear another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third of the stars of heaven and cast him to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her, to devour her child, to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule over, to rule all nations, with a rod of iron, and her child, uh, and her child was caught up into God, and his, and and sorry, and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, um, where she was placed, prepared of God, that she should feed her uh, there a thousand two hundred and three score days so that is I guess this is the confirmation for the dream the woman is about to give birth um yeah so pretty much about the persecution it's going to be happening soon um Because, um, yeah, it's going to be happening. Coming up, um, I think the, I believe that the, this is going to be the revelation also, um, the war in heaven. And there was, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, uh, and and the dragon fought his angels and prevailed not. Neither what neither was their place found any more in heaven, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called Seth, uh, the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast. Which deceit right. he was cast out of he was sorry he was he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him and I heard uh and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength of the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our before our God day and night and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and they sorry and by the word of their testimonies and they love not their lives unto death rejoice Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in dwell in them. 
Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because, because he knows that he had he knows that he have hath a short time. Yes, um, you can go to chapter uh twelve and chapter thirteen of the Book of Revelations. It's gonna get is pretty much about the persecute. Well, it's not about the well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's part of the, about the pers persecution, but um, yeah. So all in all, please repent for the day of the Lord is near. Please make Jesus Christ your personal Savior today. Please be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire and ask for the Holy Spirit to reveal things to you. Um, uh, be, uh, repent and um, prepare for the rapture. Prepare for Jesus Christ's coming. Prepare for the wedding supper of the Lamb. Prepare for the seven-year tribulation and prepare for the great white throne judgment. All right, so it's your man, Joe. See you guys in another video. So, okay. All right.